throwing a Pikmin in 3D! We're halfway there. Leaving on a bear. Fun fact Bon Jovi is my favorite band. That's my least favorite song from him. <laughs> it's not bad or anything like that. It's just, you have so many better songs out there, and that's the one that gets played all the time. It's just one of those things. Hey! Also, hi everybody, what's the to you? Welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. We're going to continue on through the Glutton's Kitchen in today's video, and we're going to do it with style. And I'll do it with my shirt on. Alright, we gotta take care of all of you. That was great grammar on my part. I am a grammar professional. I invented grammar. <laughs> ah, you are the reason why I wanted to bring the purple Pikmin down here. There was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple Pikmin eater. So it looks strange to me. Did my microphone turn off? No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got worried because my computer did a thing and it looks like the microphone turned off. It's fine. It's all fine. Ah! Ah, switch to purple! Switch to purple! Switch to purple! Oh my goodness! I do not like it when it does that! When I'm trying to switch to one type of Pikmin and it keeps going to the other thing! If I wanted that Pikmin, I'd switch it to something else. Oh, fart! Okay, we are fine. We are fine. We are fine. We didn't lose any of there. That was good. My super cat-like reflexes were able to save the day. Alright. Okay. Okay. Actually, when you're not bothering us, let's go somewhere else. Massive lid. If you're playing on the GameCube version, this and uh, what was it going to call the happiness emblem? I believe deals to switched places in the Switch version, in the Wii version. So, if you're playing on the GameCube version, those treasures are in different places. I believe this is the only case in the game, maybe in the whole Pikmin series as a whole, where that was the case. Ah, that person's online. I know who you are. How you doing? The funny thing is, so, er, back in the earlier times when I was making Switch Dust plays and things like that, I had, like, a different, I used a different Switch profile whenever I was recording Let's Plays because I wanted to make it so that the friend notifications weren't appearing on screen. So... And then I think during, like, Batman Arkham Asylum, I wanted to do that a little bit differently, and it's kind of funny, because they'll appear up on screen and be like, Oh, hey, I know that person! Yay, that's exciting! My big worry with it, and why I was hesitant to do that, was because I didn't want those notifications to appear in, like, cutscenes and things like that. So, for, like, super important stories... I'd probably still use another profile, but for something like this, where it's a bit more simple and fun, I'd probably just use this profile. I also like the thing at the end of the year where you get like your year in review for games that you play throughout the year, and I wanted to I wanted to see like a bit more detail on how long it took to record some of these projects and things like that. That other Switch profile does have a. Uh, have like a proper online account thingy, so I could check with that, but that requires effort, and effort sucks. Now, where is this last treasure? Where is this last treasure? I would like to find this last treasure. I would like to find it, and then I'd like to sell it, and then I'd like to become a bazillionaire. Is it this cup? I think it might be the cup. Yay, it's the cup! Something fun I like to do at the um, whenever I'm working at the milk stand. So if we're ever bored, we like to take a, a cup that we're going to be throwing out anyway, and we like to play the cup song from Pitch Perfect, where it's all like... <laughs> I 
Got my ticket for the long way round. Do you battle the ski for the way? And I swear we'll like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? A tradition was started by like one person in particular. So I like to kind of think of it as a way to like they 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 were part of the college program a couple years ago and i like to like pass on uh this tradition to other people it's kind of like a way to like keep her spirit around because she was like one of my favorite um people to work with during our college program and things like that where to go next where to go next i feel like uh, i feel like doing a murder that is usually frowned upon. Ah, no! Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Get over here. Okay. Let's just get rid of you so you can be out of the way. Ah! No! No! We lost some purples. We lost some purples. The others don't care about the purples. The purples got squished. Oh no! Ah! Oh, that is really unfortunate. Because I need a crap ton of purples for a stupid treasure we saw in a previous episode. Hey. <sighs> there's another one of you! <laughs> Thankfully you're not one of those homing boulders. So that's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, get over here. Alright. Whew! Alright. Easy game. Easy. Too easy. <coughs> that was disgusting, and I'm not editing that out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a rainbow. Ah, oh, it's like Pride Flag. <gasps> oh, we can get some purples back. We can get some purples back. Okay. Wee. I know in the Wii version, at least, there's a way to make it so that you switch between flowers and leaves. I don't know how to do that on Switch. And we get some more Pikmin, which means I get to name things. Yay! We didn't get to name any pre Pikmin in the previous episode, and that made me sad. It made editing me happy because I didn't have to do any more effort, but it made... Recording me sad. There's another one of you! Thank you for... Thank you for destroying that guy. I, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Ken and Beetle. Fly go away! Okay, you guys are safe from there. Throw the purples. Okay. Phew! Huh. Okay. Okay. It should be smooth sailing from here. Should be smooth sailing from here in theory. It's a game theory. Yeah. I do not like these things. I do not like these things. They are stupid. They are dumb. And they are stupid and dumb. Okay. We took them all out, so in theory, we should be okie dokie. Hey, it's one of these things. Okay, that was a possum. That is good. I do not like it when things fall from the ceiling in this game. Do we seriously not have another possum from the other one? Have we even found any other possum? I'm trying to remember, did we find another person or not? There are two possums in this game. I thought for certain we saw the other one, but I looked at the... Okay, we definitely did on the Weavers. Maybe I didn't get it on Switch. I don't know the answer to that. I guess it's not that big of a deal.
Soaking antenna. I'm really feeling it. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. That person was playing Super Mario Bros. 35. Huh? Um. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought that game was discontinued. I am confused. Alright, let's move on to the next floor. <laughs> I thought that game was discontinued. I never bothered getting into that game because I didn't want to be like super into a game that was just going to be discontinued in a few months. That was such a stupid move for them to do. I feel like Nintendo really dropped the ball with that whole anniversary. Final floor! Okay. Uh huh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is this floor. It's this floor. Okay. You gotta move quickly with these things because if you don't, they're going to take them all out super quickly. They're gonna take these treasures super quickly, and if you're not careful, you'll lose them for good. I'm so happy they spawned so quickly to the floor. How many are on this floor? I need to know. How many are on this floor? There is four of them. Okay, there is four of them in total. So we gotta keep an eye out for the other two. Hideous Victual. I don't like devil eggs. Like, no, I don't like deviled eggs. I like scrambled eggs, but deviled eggs always give me a stomachache. Mmm, donuts. Sweet dreamer. I want a donut. They had those really big donuts at Universal in the Simpsons area. It was one of the coolest things ever. I loved that donut so much. I loved it like a brother. Me and that dono went everywhere together. Okay, this strategy seems to be working. Yeah, his eyes got super big. That bread bug is actually kind of cute. Meat of champions. We are the champions, my friends. I don't like that song. <laughs> Uh, let's go over here. There's one more treasure left on this floor. There is one more treasure. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to make it so that we only have our yellows with us. I'll make it so we only have our yellows with us, and we're going to continue onward. I see another treasure somewhere. Maybe it's in the... Okay, let's go destroy the... Okay, that's just another bird bug. Okay, I got worried that that was another treasure. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It is fine. It is fine. It is fine. This game is amazing. This game is great. This is the greatest game of all time. Sky, Children of the Light. I never heard of that game. Okay. Your health regenerates when you go into the thing. That is interesting. Okay, strategy time. What I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to try to destroy some of these... some of these guys. So that we can, like, lure them over to the ship and we can use that to just to take out the bread bug health and things like that. Alright, you're halfway down. You're halfway down. Let's continue onwards. I'm going to be very careful not to switch over to the purples. Be very careful not to switch over to the purples. Alright, that'll lure you over here. Alright, now we can do that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We can do it. 
We can do it. Yes, we can. We can do it. We are awesome. Yay! I feel bad for it, though, because this bread bug looks so cute. Processing how bizarre Nightum appears to have fallen after that freaking freakish creature. It must have been a greedy beast to swallow something like this. Seeing that guys make me think of that one toaster boss fight in Splatoon 2 and like all of Marie's puns. I love Marie. Dream material. This intriguing material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. A spacesuit made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wearer from electric shocks. Excellent, this new material has allowed me to complete my anti hyphen electrifier exclamation point. It is my own invention with only the smallest uh, lot of. Uh, what the? Aota? Huh? With only my smallest iota of outside inspiration. I don't know what iota means. I have reconfigured your suits with this new material. They will now protect you from electricity. But not the Pikmin, they're on their own. Oh, okay. Something I would love to see in a future Pikmin game. I want to see Pikmin armor. I would love to see, like, Pikmin armor. Because that'd be super cute. You can have, like, a rubber suit for your Pikmin so that... They'd have to limit it in some way, but you could have the rubber suit to make it so that your non-yellows wouldn't instantly be destroyed by electrical hazards. Maybe it only stun them for a bit or something like that. Cave complete! And with that... We have now 100%ed their perplexing pool. We're getting closer to the end of the game! I'm so excited! Oh, I'm getting that super awesome feeling when you get when you get to the end of the project. Oh, we're getting so close! Let's get wait, is everyone with us? Everyone's with us. Okay, let's go to sunset. You will remember that purple Pikmin for the Pikmin you were. Louis, are you eating well? When you're a boy, you're quite skinny, so I made you clean your plate. Be sure to cook suspicious food before eating it. <coughs> oh, where are my smokes? Look at that! Look at that! 100% completion! Another area! Oh yeah! In the next episode, we'll be going to the Valley of Repose to take care of the final dungeon over there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, Lady Gator to you! Oh yeah!